Hi everybody, it's Kim here from Handcrafts by Kim. I thought I'd jump on and just quickly show you a beautiful journal that I've just put together for my cousin who's just recovering from serious heart surgery. Um, she had a major, major surgery a few weeks ago and is still not feeling very well. So she messaged me and said that she would love a journal to record all her experiences that she's been through in the last few years with her heart. So this is for Tracy. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did enjoy making it for Tracy. And um, yeah, we'll just go through and see what you think. So basically it's just a little one signature journal and I've made a whole pile of um, handmade flowers and just attached them to the front. And it's just a basic one signature. There's a, a, another one of my handmade flowers there. And I've just wrapped it in lace this time so it's easy for Tracy to to use. So we'll get rid of that. So I've included a lot of little hearts everywhere. She asked me to make sure I could um, put the odd heart in so I've done that for her. And this one says follow your heart and this one says love, love, love. So on the first page I've attached a little blackboard heart and a little card that um, Tracy can write and it's got a heart on it. I thought it was quite, quite sweet. Just some beautiful paper that she can colour in. I've made a tag here and it's just attached to another envelope with some journaling cards which I've attached, which are really, really old journaling cards. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're just little pictures of um, angels with roses and butterfly fairies. So hopefully Tracy will enjoy those. So they just live in there done another one of my little flowers. I've also been lucky enough to um, to get some of this beautiful applique which um, a friend of mine gave the other day so that would be really, I thought that would be really lovely in her journal and this is a little tuck, tuck spot there so she can put a little tag in. And on this side I have made a little fabric flip and there's just a little pocket where another journaling card I've just made there for her with the word reflect on so she can hide little messages in there another tuck spot for more bits and pieces more records i have done little bits of ephemera for tracy and i've actually <laughs> cut out a picture of her that's tracy <laughs> so i thought she would think that was she's got a great sense of humor here's tracy so she'll enjoy that some old music paper with i've attached some beautiful roses i got these from g uh, G Kerr, so her download, downloads are absolutely stunning and I think a lot of these are from the Graphic Fairy, the little ephemera cards I've used. Um, just some beautiful writing paper and some more ephemera cards, little butterflies from G. I've included lots of little snippets for Tracy and some beautiful paper. Um, I did try to um, use the baby oil I've watched on someone's video that you can actually use the baby oil on the paper and it turns it more or less like vellum, which it has, but I'm finding even after three or four weeks, it's still leaking onto my paper, which is not a biggie, but um, yeah, if anyone knows what I've done wrong, let me know. So I've just um, laced the edge of the paper, but this is a beautiful pa paper that was gifted to me and just adorned most of the pages with just little bits of lace. Tracy loves lace. There's a nice piece of polka dot vellum and a little heart doily and just another little page with lots of journaling spots and little envelopes and these are beautiful little playing cards which I've chosen the joker cards because she'll think that's, that's funny. I've made some little tags for her to use so she can write on and some more journaling cards there. There's lots and lots of blank paper for Tracy to journal on. Um, pockets everywhere. I won't show you all of the stuff because um, I keep some of the stuff set. Surprise for Trace. So there's more laces. A double heart here, which I thought was rather beautiful. Just some more little tuck spots everywhere. Cup of tea. I thought she might need a cup of tea. <laughs> there's a um, more journaling card and some beautiful vintage paper that I've included. Some little pins and and dangles that I've made for her. Lots of journaling cards here. And these are little envelopes and things. Um, this is just a little fabric flip as well, which I've just attached it underneath this piece of 
card so she can take that out if she wants so I've attached a little heart to the bottom of it so I have adorned it with some beautiful applique flowers there's um, a lovely little book here it's just attached with the little rose and she can just there's tiny little tags in there so little bits and pieces where she can put you know re results or photos do whatever she likes I'm sure she will find lots of lots and lots of goodies to put in. Here's just a little another little dangle with a little heart and a little t tassel. The rest of the other half of the heart that was on the front of the book. And some more papers. I've just adorned these with little cut out hearts. There's more paper to write on. Some more vintage paper. Another little bit of bling. Tracy likes her bling. Another little blackboard heart. Um, some more paper for her to journal on. And I just decorated that page up. Just a bit of bling for Trace. And that's it. And just another little doily on the back. So I hope you guys like that. I hope Tracy likes it. I'm sure she will. Um, so I'll have to send that off to New Zealand. And yeah, I look forward to hearing what she thinks. She can enjoy recording all her beautiful, well not beautiful, but recording all her medical information and her journey to recovery and I'm sure she'll be fine she she's a beautiful girl and she'll um yeah she'll like this so thanks for watching guys please let me know what you think and if you haven't already subscribed please do I really really need to know that people are liking what I'm doing so thank you very much cheers see you later